Of course, many, most of us by now in these discussions, if you've come to these talks before, you would realise that you are a soul and these two things, the spirit body and the physical body, are just appendages of your soul. So this body is just an appendage of the soul that envelops it. So in fact, we could draw it in this way. Here's our spirit body. Our soul envelops our spirit body. And then, and maybe I should draw it a different colour. Here's our big-headed uh, male again in his spirit form. Right? So we see we've got a spirit body and a material body, but I've drawn them over here so that we can see them separate from each other. But these bodies are just that. They are not the real our, us at all. They are only a reflection of the real soul condition, what is going on inside of the soul. Now, so it's our emotions. What else? Our passions, desires. Yeah. You know, it's amazing how we ream all this stuff off, but we don't honour our soul. How many times do you not honour your emotions in a single day? How many times do you not honour your passion in a day? So it's one thing, isn't it, to ream off what is our soul and go, oh, it's our emotions, our passions, our desires, our intentions and all those things, right? Quite another to actually start feeling, this is who I am. I am this person who has this conglomeration of emotions, passions, intentions, desires, but also, what else? We also have beliefs, experiences, and all of these things become the sum total of what is within our soul. And our bodies are really superfluous, in, except they are the method in which we collect these experiences. They are the method in which we can experience the universe that we're growing up in. So, while we're here on the earth, we are in the nursery of the soul. So, so as long as you keep in mind while we're here on the earth that we're really just babies learning how to walk, that's really what we're doing here, you'll be fine. As soon as you forget that you're a baby learning how to walk and you think you're all grown up an adult, from then on you're not going to be so fine because you'll start being more self-reliant then. Right? But if we remember that we're just children just growing up here and when we enter the spirit world you could say, uh, it's like entering grade one. For a lot of people that's what it's like. And then, then they go through their spirit world life and they start growing up and they grow to a fully mature adult, shall we call it, which may take, for many of them, thousands of years. And we get to the stage where our soul even changes and our soul eventually unifies with a, the other half of itself in that 20-second sphere location. So, so there's a huge amount of growth that we need to make. And here we are in this spirit body and material body and it doesn't matter whether we're a spirit right now or we're in the physical body right now. It doesn't matter. The same principles apply that those two things are not the real self. That is the real self. And the real self has a collection of beliefs, emotions, passions, desires, longings and those, the collection of those things we've called and I've told you about called the soul condition and it's very very important to understand the soul condition because it's the soul condition that determines exactly what happens when you die and afterwards it's the soul condition that determines everything <laughs> 